All right, we're back with another video. We're going to talk about how you, you know, we we doing this because we want people to know how you can make this money in, in fingerprinting. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> there's a lot of money in, and I'm going to tell you, in, anybody who knows me, who's who's been on our coaching calls before and stuff, I love a fingerprint card. I love that FD258 card. I love it. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I wish I, I wish everybody come by like 10 cards a day. I love it. I love it. I love it because the FD258 card is so versatile. It can be used for a lot of things. And, mm -hmm. you know, in, in your state, in my state, in her state, his state, it don't matter. Um, that FD258 card is like the, you know, it, it's the standard and it can be used for so many things. Um, and that goes for whether you, if, if you have a, a, a live scan system or not, mm -hmm. the need for the fingerprint card is massive, you know, and I know, I know Brandon can talk about it with all his locations, but I love the fingerprint card, you know, um, because it's simple, it's quick, uh, it's easy, especially if you, you learn how to roll correctly. But people need fingerprint cards all the time. You know, a lot of our business are our traveling medical professionals, the traveling nurses, the traveling x-ray tech, the traveling sonogram tech, the traveling doctors, uh, pharmacists. Even though pharmacists may work from home or they may work at a central location here, they may service customers all over the country. Mm -hmm. And to get licensed in these other states, they have to have a fingerprint card. Even if it's a traveling nurse and you go up to a compact state where they, they've made the compact where you know your license reciprocates with this state, with that state, you still got to have a fingerprint card. That's why I love fingerprint cards. And don't let nobody tell you you can't make money with fingerprint cards. Brandon, you wanna touch that? No, nah, you're right, Auntie. Uh, it's it's kind of like print money, so to speak. You know, the good <laughs> thing. Say it. Uh, I love how you say that when you print money all the time from your 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 uh, regulars, especially your ATF guy, right? I always love hearing yes. stories about when he call you up. Um, but yeah, you know, with with the fingerprint cards, like I say, if you have a live scan machine or you're doing traditional ink, is is the gold standard for the United States? Is 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 the card that's accepted everywhere? Mm -hmm. Even if a government entity is saying, hey, here's the SF-87, you need to be fingerprint on that. And a lot of times when they give people instructions, they'll also say, well, if they don't have those, because if they, you only they post to mail those to the customers, usually the federal government, they'll mail them the SF-87. But if they don't, they'll say, well, we'll take the, we'll still take the, the FD-258, right? Mm -hmm. And so it's no problem, like, cool, or when people doing immigration and the FBI say, you know, here's the 1164, like they'll send that, but they still take the FD two five eight, right? It's like nobody's going to reject two five eight card, mm -hmm. and it's so many people like she just said in in in, in the traveling that required, but also um, in construction. So some you probably didn't even think of is companies that do dealing construction. They dealing explosives. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They need the ATF background check, right? And the ATF takes the FD two five eight cards because of the particular form they're filling out or the application that they right. filling out with the ATF. Mm -hmm. They need a fingerprint background check, right? So different construction companies they have a, a base in Lafayette. So our partner out there, Courtney, he he usually does out layers out there and give them cards, and then they have a another office out here in a little town not too far from me. And so they'll send me all their people over here in this area in Katy uh, to give them fingerprint cards for this one particular construction company that deals with explosives. Right. Um, you have, man, it's just a, 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 a large amount of people that, that really need this. And they usually mail in their cards, like you said, especially if they go in other states. So for instance, um, different general contractors, roofers, plumbers, mm -hmm. like, uh, you know, if they're going to, uh, Let's say when they have disasters and stuff like that, generally they'll have to be fingerprinted to mm -hmm. go into that state to work. So Florida is a perfect one. So people go to Florida all the time for hurricane season, right? Yes. All those workers that fly in every year they come in, they gotta get a fingerprint background check. Mm -hmm. The cool thing is, um, you know, you can mail in a card to a vendor in that state to scan in the cards for them. Florida is a little tricky. I don't want to go deep off into it, but basically they can still get a card and scan it, get it scanned into someone that can do FDLE direct right. uh, for Florida. But 
it's, it's, it's a ton of people. You know, the fingerprint card is, is great, especially when you do have the live scan system mm -hmm. and you got somebody that's got their prints archived. Yes. They just call you up and you just print out half a mini for however much you charge. And then that's just that money kind of going, right? Mm -hmm. uh, every time you print out cards for those people. You know, so that, that's just, you know, to touch on that a little bit more. But it's just, yeah, I love the card. Like, I, I, I buy them in bulk, you know, because I'm making sure that uh, we have them ready, you know. <laughs> uh, another thing, yeah. too, is fingerprint cards don't have, you know, like I said, they got different vendors out there. So depending on how you set up, the fingerprint cards, it ain't no fee. The, the fee you pay for fingerprint cards is about, depending on how bulk you get them, right, either from 23 cents down to 17 or 16 cents per car. Well, with mm -hmm. inflation, everything is, is increased some, but between that range, for the most part, is what you per, per, pay per car and you're charging, uh, essentially, auntie, she charged 65 for two cars. Where I'm at, I charge 40 for two cars. Some people charge 45, 50. Kind of depends on your area and that's what you got to, you know, kind of adjust your area to, right? But it's like, you only paid a couple cents for it. You got your ink that you're constantly using over, like, yeah. Sell cars, push cars, because that's that's your money maker. That's the your your most highest margins, uh, yes. for the most part. You know what I'm saying? And, and it's different services that you can offer. Exactly. Uh, piggybacking on that, let me say this. Um, you know, I have a lot of. You know, we're <laughs> we're in the south, so everybody carries a weapon, a gun, uh, <laughs> a pistol. You know, right. You know. Yeah. So I have a guy who. I have fingerprinted him one time and I've made almost a thousand dollars just from fingerprinting him one time. He builds machine guns. I know he does machine guns and some other type of gun. I don't, I'm not, you know, I, I, can, I can have my pistol, but I don't know all about what he does, but, and he uh, paid to archive his prints. So he will call every so often and say, Hey girl, uh, I need 30 more cards because you know, when you move, a, a a a weapon uh you're transferring ownership whatever you got to mm -hmm. provide that card so he'll call me and say i need 30 cards okay cool i pull his record up i print the cards my reprints i only charge ten dollars a piece so that's three hundred dollars i charge him another 10 to drop them into uh usps priority mail and it's gone in fact I keep his, when he calls, I just go into my credit card process and I say, baby, you want to use that same card ending in one, two, three, four? Yeah, go ahead, hit it. Mm -hmm. I hit it. And a lot of times with my reprints, I may have a five, $600 a day before 10, before 1030. I don't even open until 10 o'clock. That's just me. Mm -hmm. But I have had days where all I did was reprints um, just from fingerprint cards. When I tell you fingerprint cards will save the world. We do a lot of big jobs that are just fingerprint cards. Um, mm -hmm. We have a, a group of uh, pharmacists. This company just brings on pharmacists and to work all over the country, you know, and most of them work remotely. So they'll call us and say, hey, we got 30 pharmacists who need 10 cards a piece. Can you come Tuesday at nine, Tuesday at 12? Sure. Because mm -hmm. then all we do is print. We just, you know, we fingerprint them one time and we're just hitting print. We're just hitting print. We're just hitting print. You know, I know you can do the same thing with ink, but I'm going to tell you, you can exponentially multiply your business, your revenue, your income when you have the live scan system where you can archive prints because you can just keep printing over and over and over. And so that was all those pharmacists got like five states at that time they've called us back and we've gone back and they'll uh, or they'll call and they'll say hey that same group they're getting licensed in five more states can we get 10 more cards a piece sure we just print and drop it off so we can't say enough about fingerprint cards i know it seems simple this is a this is a a, a very <clears throat> I just say fingerprinting is simple. It may not necessarily be easy sometimes, but it's a very simple business. And if you just embrace the simpleness of it, you can make you can make killer money. You know, you really can. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, just applying, uh, like I said, the simpleness to it. Um, 
it's a simple business. Some things kind of get uh, a little cloudy when people be trying to talk about us, oh, open state, closed state, this and that. Don't worry about all that. <laughs> don't complicate it. Don't complicate it. It's a simple business, and we're talking about fingerprint cards. Fingerprint cards, you you can do that anywhere. You can run that anywhere, just market that all day. I can yeah. do fingerprint cards. I can come and do a mobile to you. I got an office. Come here, you know, like. Just market fingerprint cards is the easiest thing. You don't have to worry about anything else. The power of fingerprint cards, and especially if you just kind of want to get your feet wet, mm -hmm. do these fingerprint cards, you know, get started doing that, and then see if it's something you want to continue to grow with. But it's, it's definitely something that you'll make that money and be like, you know what? Yeah, I want to go to the next level. You know, you're definitely going to want to do that once you really start seeing the calls coming in, and, you know, the different people you're going to meet mm -hmm. uh, and the different people that, you know, are going to need your services. and. You know, you're actually doing a great thing too by, you know, getting them to the next step in, in their life. You know, they might just be getting a new job or something like that they need this for. Um, oh, it, should, it could be like we're running, man. You know, you, you out there making weapons, right? And somebody getting their new weapon and they happy. You know what I'm saying? So or somebody getting a suppressor and they happy, you know, and they ready to turn them fingerprints and you making their day by doing that for them. So it's, it's something that's still reward, very rewarding. You know, it could be somebody that's volunteering for an organization or a school teacher or you know, somebody that's going to be doing something that someone else to also impact someone else's life for a positive way. And so, you know, it's good to be able to, to be a part of that journey for them. It's a smile. It's a smile part, but it's still a part. And it's an important part that you're playing in someone else's future. So that is so true. That is so true. We hope this is giving you all some insight into an, another way that you can make that profit in the fingerprinting business, you know, from prints to profit is <laughs> is what it's all about. Uh, yeah. We'll be coming out with more videos telling you about how you can make this money in this business. Thank you. And as always, have a blessed day.